Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the crossed double crochet stitch, which you can see here in front of you, and it is a quite pretty and elegant looking stitch, but it's also one that is quite sturdy as well. Uh, and that's because of these cross double crochet stitches, which makes them a little bit thicker, uh, alternating between these rows of single crochet stitches. So it is a lacy stitch. It is the same on the front as it is on the back, and it's an easy to row repeat. So thank you so much for joining me. I invite you to subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel here, and uh, don't forget to check out some of the other crochet stitch tutorial videos there. This channel is updated weekly, so thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to be using a 6mm crochet hook, as well as a little bit of the Karen Times Pantone yarn. And uh, links to both of these items can be found in the description of this video. So let's grab our hooks and yarn, and let's get started. For our stitch today, the crossed double crochet, it is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making our slip knot and then make a foundation chain with a multiple of two chains. So today I'm going to start by chaining 22. Once you have your foundation chain, you're going to begin by skipping three chains, which counts as your double crochet stitch, and then uh, skip one more chain. So you're going to skip a total of four chains. One, two, three. Three is your double crochet, and four is going to be chain one space. So into your next stitch, you're going to work a double crochet stitch. So into the fifth chain from your hook, work one double crochet. We're now going to be working back into that fourth chain that we skipped. So we have our three that's a double crochet, and then we have one more chain here. We're going to work back into that chain, and we're going to work another double crochet stitch. So this is where you get your crossed double crochet. So yarn over, bring your hook back into that chain that you skipped, and when working into this foundation chain it can be a little bit tricky. But work into it, yarn over, draw up a loop, and draw your loop up a little bit so that it's almost uh, the height as it would have been if you had been working in the stitch in front. So you want it to be a little bit longer. You're then going to yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two more. That's your first cross double crochet. You're then going to skip the next stitch into the next, work a double crochet, and then work a cross double crochet by working back into that chain that you just skipped. So yarn over, insert your hook back into that chain that you skipped yarn over, draw up your loop a little bit further than you would normally, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. You are going to repeat that all the way across your foundation chain. So skip the next chain, into the next stitch, work a double crochet stitch, now working back into the chain that you skipped, work a double crochet, yarn over, Insert your hook, yarn over and draw up a tall loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Work that all the way to the end. When you come to the end, work a single double crochet stitch into that final chain. When you come to the end of your row one, you'll have one chain left. 
you're going to double crochet into that chain. For row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now simply going to work a single crochet stitch into each stitch all the way across. So single crochet into each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end of your row, you're going to chain three and turn your work. At the end of row two, you're, you'll have chained three and turn your work. We're now essentially going to work in a similar way as we did down there with row one. You're going to skip the next stitch, work double crochet into the next. Now working into that skip stitch, work a double crochet. and repeat that all the way across. Skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next. Now working into the skipped stitch, work a double crochet. Now for the rest of this pattern, you're going to simply repeat uh, your row two, your single crochet row, and this row three here. When you come to the end of this row, just as you did, uh, in that first row, you're going to finish off with a double crochet stitch into that final stitch. And that's all there is to working your crossed double crochet. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe and look forward to seeing you next week. Happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.